Good morning. I'm Olaf Stockmo, who wishes the 9th Turkish Publishing Assembly every success and that all stay healthy in these times of pandemic. In an ever-changing world, publishing has the potential of flourishing. The copyright sector is pivotal to country and cultural development, as well as to dynamic and healthy uh, economic environments. The World Intellectual Property Organization, the United Nations body responsible for copyright, has facilitated studies on the impact of the corporate sector on the national economy and employment in more than 40 countries. The conclusion is that there is a positive correlation between the contribution of the corporate sector to the economy on the one hand and a nation's competitiveness, innovation and the size of its economy measured as the GDP per capita on the other. Appropriate contribution from the corporate sector to development requires substantial local production of corporate works and equal important, easy legal access to them. This implies adequate corporate protection combined with efficient mechanisms to manage access to corporate works. Collective administrational rights and collective license contribute to this. In the publishing sector, it currently supports authors and publishers, as well as users, in some 90 countries worldwide. The US filmmaker Woody Allen says in Mayor Anarchy, Mankind is facing a crossroad. One road leads to despair and utter hopelessness, and the other to total extinction. I sincerely hope you choose the right road. In copyright, choosing the right road implies taking advantage of collective management to administer certain rights. The contribution to the publishing sector of collective rights management and licensing is manifold. It responds to user needs thus allowing publishers and other right holders to exploit markets which would otherwise be unexploitable. It is essential to combating piracy and other forms of unauthorized uses of published works, and it contributes substantial income to authors and publishers for uses of their works. Collective management organizations offer a single access point to users to request authorization to use multiple works of a magnitude of right holders. They operate in almost any territory and have the ability to adapt to local conditions, educational systems, economic circumstances and cultures. Collective management organizations in the publishing sector are referred to as RROs, Reproduction Rights Organizations. Owned and governed by authors and publishers, RROs complement authorization granted by authors and publishers themselves when they do not want to or simply cannot authorize to use themselves. This is typically the case in respect of certain secondary uses, such as multiple copying of portions of already published works in education, research or public and private administration. These are uses which can only be managed efficiently through collective management. Collective rights management and fighting unauthorized use are complementary. Piracy is most likely the biggest single threat to the copyright sectors. Collective licensing helps defining acceptable usages, raising awareness and enabling focus on combat combating blatant piracy through authorizing and ensuring payment for agreed usages. RROs in many countries also collaborate directly with publishers in pursuing actively pirate activities and pirates themselves. Income from the secondary market is vital to authors and publishers. The sums that ROs contribute yearly to authors and publishers are far from negligible. In 2018, for example, the collected fees worldwide amounted to an equivalent of some 7.5 billion Turkish lira. A PricewaterhouseCoopers survey showed that UK publishers depend on income from the secondary market for some 19% of their investment in new educational works. In my own country, Norway, with a small population of just over 5 million inhabitants, the national RO Copino distributed an equivalent of 164 million Turkish lira to Norwegian authors and publishers in 2018 for secondary uses of their works. 52 million lira were paid out to book and journal publishers alone. The importance of this income to the national publishing industry should be obvious. Free 
in the meaning of usages without prior authorization and payment to right holders may seem as an attractive option to users. This may be a false assumption and besides a rather short-sighted one. When the Canadian University of Toronto cancelled its contract with a local RO, Access Copyright, a student magazine noted that some students had to buy course packs for nearly double the price it cost the previous year due to the termination of the Access Copyright license. Other students saw their cost increase by nearly four times. Free, maybe costly, more costly than a license agreement with right holders or a collective management organization. The alternative to this false free use of excerpts or multiple published works is a collective license agreement authorizing it, with an agreed remuneration to be paid to right holders. ROs respond to user needs for easy access to published works at conditions agreeable to authors and publishers. They thus help right holders to serve their markets and users to use copyright works legally. The publishing sector can have a great future. People need to and wish to read. Collective rights management is about easy ways of obtaining and granting authorization to rightfully use copyright works at an affordable price. In other words, it makes copyright work. In the publishing sector, collective management and the number of ROs have grown exponentially over the past years. There are now at least 105 operating ROs worldwide, a number likely to continue to increase the coming years, because collective management and ROs represent an indispensable part of an effective copyright management system to make copyright work for everybody. Thank you.